Number 10. German U-boat. For over a century, a shockingly intact German U-boat has been resting in the mud on the bank of the River Medway in Kent, England. It's believed to be one of over 100 U-boats that were surrendered at the end of World War I. Most of the vehicles were scrapped and some were given to the French Navy. Nobody knows for sure how or why the lone wrecked submarine ended up where it is. Experts believe that it's a U-boat known as UB-122, which was among the surrendered group of vehicles. During the war, it would have carried as many as 10 torpedoes. It's possible that the tow line pulling the boat broke and that it was more trouble than it was worth to chase down. UB-122 is the only complete U-boat that has ever been found in British tidal waters, according to marine archaeologist Mark Dunkley, who spoke with Mail Online following the discovery. There are no plans to preserve it. Instead, it will remain in place as a reminder of the ultimate sacrifice that often comes with war. It's the only visible example of just 40 known U-boat wrecks that happened in British waters. The vehicle's visibility changes with the water levels, and it's gained an increasing amount of attention in recent years after being exposed by a series of harsh storms. Number 9. A Frozen Shelter During World War I, Austro-Hungarian and Italian forces went head-to-head -head in a long, drawn-out battle known as the White War. The conflict took place in the Italian Alps, where two-thirds of the 150,000 deaths were caused by avalanches, frostbite, landslides, illness, and other effects of the brutal weather. One group of 20 Austro-Hungarian soldiers spent three and a half years in a crude wooden shelter atop a 10,154-foot peak called Mount Scorluzzo. By the time the war ended in 1918, they were fed up with the cramped makeshift space and the unforgiving alpine climate, which saw temperatures as low as minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit. They abruptly closed and abandoned the shelter at the first opportunity and were so eager to get out of there that they left behind most of their personal belongings. The only people who visited the site before it became covered in snow and ice were some scrappers who were looking for metal to sell. Relics from the White War began appearing during the 1990s as climate change accelerated the melting of glaciers. Since then, an array of perfectly preserved artifacts have been discovered, including letters, diaries, weapons, and other items. The frozen bodies of soldiers have also been found. Researchers first visited the barracks on Mount Scorluzzo in 2017 after the ice that had encased it for nearly a century melted away. They found all kinds of things from food, dishes, bottles, animal skin jackets, straw mattresses, coins, helmets, ammunition, and more items reflecting the dismal daily lives of the men who languished there. This is just one of many similar shelters that have been discovered in recent decades, and there's a good chance that more will appear as global warming continues to dramatically alter the landscape. Number 8. A soldier's bedroom. Hubert Rochereau was barely an adult when he left his childhood home in central France to fight in World War I. He died in the conflict in 1918 at just 21 years old. The young man's heartbroken parents turned his bedroom into a permanent memorial, keeping it just as their son left it when he went off to war. They added a few items from Hubert's military service, including his helmet, medals, and jacket. His books, military manuals, pipe, cigarettes, pistol, knife, notebook, and other personal belongings were left in place along with his bed, desk, and other furniture. Hubert's parents closed the room off, ensuring that their beloved fallen son's memory would be preserved. In 1935, the couple bequeathed their home to a close military friend, General Eugène Brideau. The transfer of property was contingent upon Brideau agreeing to leave Hubert's room untouched for 500 years. But the new owner fled the country during World War II when he fell under suspicion as a Nazi collaborator and spent the rest of his life in Spain. The house fell back into the hands of Brideau's daughter, whose husband, Daniel Fabre, still lived there as of 2014. Local officials have stopped by to see Hubert's room, which the current owner has agreed to leave as is. But there's no guarantee that the next owner will do the same. In recent years, the local mayor has campaigned for measures that would ensure that the room is preserved. Number 7. Chemical Weapons while constructing a trail through Fort Totten Park in Washington, D.C. in 2020, workers from the National Park Service discovered an unexploded World War I-era shell. The agency immediately closed that section of the park and urged the public to stay away. Heavy rains had revealed the weapon, which the Army destroyed in a controlled detonation. Trail construction was put on hold while the Park Service investigated the bomb's possible origins and searched the soil for other weapons. The bomb may have come from the former American University Experiment Station, where the government carried out research and experiments on chemical agents, equipment, and munitions. Nicknamed the mother of all toxic dumps, the site once served as a dumping ground for chemical weapons. Between 2007 and 2010, the Army Corps of Engineers found over 500 munition items, 400 pounds of laboratory glassware, and 100 tons of contaminated soil at the property. 
The government condemned a home that had been built over the burial pits and settled a lawsuit with its understandably upset owners. Officials are still trying to figure out what to do about the recently discovered shell, which could reflect bigger problems regarding the presence of chemical weapons in the area. So far, soil tests have turned up no evidence of other explosives nearby, but politicians are nevertheless calling on numerous government agencies to meet and discuss the matter. What would you do if you found out your home was built over burial pits? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe before the end of the video. Number 6. Fallen Soldiers Over 150,000 soldiers died during the brutal White War and sadly many of their bodies were simply left to become buried in snow and ice. The fallen troops' remains have started to reappear in recent years as alpine glaciers melt. In 2014, the mummified bodies of two blue-eyed Austro-Hungarian soldiers were found near the ski resort village of Peo in northern Italy. The following year, a man named Livio de Francesco noticed a pair of boots poking out from the snow near the summit of a peak called Costa Bella in Val di Fassa. Based on the soldiers' boots, ammunition, and a hand grenade found nearby, he was sure that the body belonged to an Italian soldier. The skeleton told the story of a healthy young man who was much taller than average, standing at nearly six feet. Speaking with local news outlet Corriere della Sera, De Francisco said that the soldier's tooth enamel was in excellent condition. He believes that the man died in 1915 as the Italians advanced on the region. The body had a shrapnel wound to the right shoulder blade and had been buried by nearly five feet of loose stone, possibly due to an explosion or storm. Costa Bella is littered with remnants of the bloody warfare that took place there over a century ago, including tunnels, rotten trench boards, and rust stains from barbed wire and shrapnel. And while the climate change we're currently experiencing is nothing short of catastrophic, it's helping to shed light on the harsh realities that soldiers endured during the war. Number 5. Long Lost Submarine Wreck In late 2018, shifting sands along the northern coast of France revealed the rusted and haunting remains of a World War I-era German submarine. Known as UC-61, the vehicle ran aground in 1917 near the seaside commune of Wissant. The crew deliberately flooded the vessel and abandoned it. Soon enough, it became buried in the sand. This actually wasn't the first time the submarine appeared. Speaking with the BBC, local mayor Bernard Brac said that the wreck emerges every two or three years depending on the tides. It's never visible for long before it's once again hidden beneath the seabed. But when it appeared in 2018, more of the vessel was visible than ever before, according to local tour guide Vincent Schmidt, who hoped that the wind and tides would expose even more of the submarine. UC-61 is thought to have sunk at least 11 Allied ships before it crashed while en route from Belgium to France to lay mines. Number 4. Ammunition and Bombs A Michigan family was cleaning out their house in Lansing last October when they discovered what appeared to be a live ammunition round. They called the authorities, and officers from the Michigan State Police Bomb Squad were dispatched to the site. The team performed an x-ray on the object and were relieved to find that it wasn't live. It appears as though someone used it as a piggy bank many years ago, filling it with antique coins and bills dating back to the 19th and early 20th centuries. The police announced the discovery on Twitter and shared photos of the goods, which include a $5 bill from 1928. The bomb squad took the round, but they were kind enough to leave the family with the treasures. Around the same time the non-live round was found in Michigan, someone in Perthshire, Scotland found an unexploded World War I bomb inside an old barn. The 18-pound shell had sat unnoticed for decades among farm equipment. Bomb disposal experts reported to the scene and an army team was brought in from Edinburgh to safely dispose of the weapon. Nearby residents were forewarned of the plans and thankfully everything went smoothly. Number 3. Lost Tank Blueprint the British-made Mark I tank was the first tank ever used in combat, and it proved to be a game-changer when it came to winning the First World War. It was designed in 1915 as a way to break the stalemate of trench warfare by enabling soldiers to traverse through craters and ram through barbed wire on the Western Front. When an enemy soldier saw the tank approaching for the first time, they reportedly shouted, The Devil is Coming! The tracked vehicle's blueprint was believed to be lost to history until recently, when auctioneer Paul Laidlaw announced that the only known copy will soon be sold at auction along with a 20-page patent description. The blueprint's value is estimated at over $27,000 and the patent description is worth around $13,600. Described as a lodgen-shaped vehicle propelled by an endless moving chain track, the Mark I tank was first used in 1916 in the Battle of the Somme. The only known surviving example is on display at the Tank Museum in Dorset, England. Naturally, if a blueprint were to exist, it would probably also be there, yet the museum doesn't have one. So it came as a huge surprise when Laidlaw received a call from a vendor who was looking to sell his copy. 
Speaking with Wales Online, the auctioneer said that the seller was unaware of the blueprint's value. The documents had been quietly handed down through the person's family for quite some time, which explains why nobody knew they existed. And it leaves us to wonder what other treasures are sitting in people's attics and storage rooms going completely unnoticed. Number 2. A Mother's Badge An amateur metal detectorist named Philip Sarasi was treasure hunting on the Australian island of Tasmania last year when he found a World War I female relative's badge. The medal was given to the closest female relatives of soldiers, usually their wife or mother. Philip posted the discovery on social media, prompting another metal detectorist named Karen Campbell Davis to pour through archives in an attempt to identify the badge's owner. Using the number on the medal, she traced it to a single mother named Marion Cranswick, who lost two sons in the war. 20-year-old John Cranswick died in France in 1917 after a shell fragment struck his back. His brother, Thurston, was sent back to Australia to recover from a gunshot wound the following year, but died from tetanus. Karen spent hours tracking down the badge's owner and learning about the family. She told Wales Online that the experience left her feeling like she knew the Cranswicks personally. It's a tragic tale, and it left her wondering if Marion lost the medal or if she threw it away on purpose due to her grief. In a response to an inquiry about where to send her son's war medals, Marion wrote about how her husband had abandoned her 16 years earlier. She said she had no idea if he was still alive, and that it had been a long time since he helped support the family. The badge was returned to one of the woman's surviving grandsons. Number 1. Alpine Refuge Video footage that went viral last year shows a shelter embedded in a vertical rock face in Italy's Dolomite Mountains. Situated nearly 9,000 feet above sea level, the precariously positioned structure can only be accessed by traversing steep, rocky ridges. Only experienced hikers and climbers can safely get to the building, which consists of a blue slanted roof, brick walls, two doorways, and four windows. It's believed that Italian soldiers built the shelter after Italy declared war on Austria-Hungary in 1915. The structure would have been used as a refuge from the ongoing battles as well as the harsh climate, which often saw temperatures well into the negatives. It's one of several World War I-era shelters that can be found among the Dolomites and is located along a Via Ferrata, or Iron Path, frequented by skilled climbers. Known as the Via Ferrata Ivano di Bona, the trail is equipped with steel ladders, rungs, and cables to help climbers get through the more difficult spots on the mountain. Only those fit enough to travel it are lucky enough to see the shelter firsthand. The rest of us can only experience it through pictures and videos taken by these adventurous explorers. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to learn more about fascinating World War I discoveries, let us know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe. We'll see you next time for another amazing video right here on American Eye.